I'm now with Shane Rimmer. Now, Shane, you have been in so many TV shows and films. You played yeah. Scott Tracy in Thunderbirds. Yeah. You've been in Bond movies and Superman. I got away with murder, actually. I mean, no, actually, it was, you hit a you hit a a lot of it just to, it's, it's time and place. I, I, I arrived over here uh, before the big American sort of invasion. Everybody uh, landed here at the same time. But I was very fortunate in getting into a, a lot of good pictures. You know, now they make any kind that uh, they got money for. But it, then they had a good roll of, of, of standout pictures, and they went all over the world. So I was happy to get in on that uh, on that on that bunch. So Scott Tracy. Yeah. How did you land the role? Uh, I, I had done a, uh, a part in a series uh, called Compact for the BBC. Compact, I remember it well. Do you? Yes. Well, they brought in this fellow called Corrigan because the, uh, the circulation was slipping and they thought an American input would, uh, would work. Well, it did for about six months and then it started to dwindle because they wanted something to uh, face up to uh, Coronation Street. Coronation Street was running around, was running off with everything. Still is, as a matter of fact, isn't it? So uh, the opposition lasted for about six months. And then, as I say, it started to dwindle a bit. So uh, I left for uh, greener pastures. But I enjoy the BBC. They're a good, old, good company to work for. So Scott Tracy, how did you land that part? Uh, well, Jerry heard me on this compact thing as that uh, Russell Corrigan, the editor, and thought, I mean, he'd already had Scott Tracy in mind, and I think possibly the, the puppet was starting as well. I mean, ju just as a, a visual image. And he thought that voice, uh, the Corrigan voice, would fit Scott. Uh, so I, I went out to his place in, uh, I forget, just outside London. Um, <laughs> And did and it did a page, just just read off a page. There was no name on the script as to what it was, no name for a character, so I was absolutely clueless as to what it was all about. And I didn't know Jerry very much then because it was my very early days over here. Anyway, I got a call in two weeks' time saying, "Do you want to do Scott Tracy?" I and said, the rest yeah. is history. <laughs> well, God, that's fifty years ago, huh? Yeah, yeah. And James yeah. Bond, you're in James Bond. Yeah, I, uh, the first one was You Only Live Twice, and I, I was a, sort of a, 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 a galaxy scout. I was up in a, in a, in a um, I'm not sure what sort of a vehicle it was, anyway. It, was, had, it, had a, it had a control board that you wouldn't believe. I was almost afraid to touch it in case I started World War III. You know, oh, it, was, it was with Sean Connery. Yeah, it was with Connery. Uh, then I did... Uh, um, Gee, what was the Spy Who Loved Me? Was it? The Spy Who Loved Me yeah. was the third one. Yeah. Um, um, I forget the name of the, the second one. That's terrible, isn't it? But uh, so it went from there to a, a rather larger part. Uh, Diamonds Are Forever. Oh yes. Uh, Again with Sean Connery. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that was in, done in Vegas, and then it came back here uh, with uh, Roger, Roger, Roger Moore. Roger Moore. Uh, inspire who loved me. That was, that was a knockout picture. And you brought a book out, here we are. I did. Shane Rimmer. Yeah. Shane Rimmer. Ah, oh, thank you for that. From I Thunderbirds that. Mm. And to pterodactyls. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. I enjoyed it. Shane, it's been brilliant talking to okay. you. I think you're a fantastic actor. Thanks thank very you. much, mate. It was a great pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.